Hey up viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist and welcome back to some more indie horror here on the channel. So, this is the demo for Hollow Cocoon. Now this is a horror game which has not yet been released. Um, I think the release date for this one is 6th of December. You can download the demo for it on Steam though. And uh, apparently it's set in 1980s rural Japan, I do believe. And um, you know me, I do sometimes like my J-horrors, particularly like my Chiller's Art stuff, things like that. And uh, I do have a few sort of J-horror games which I do want to play, and uh, have, as of yet, still not got around to doing. And um, no, I was just browsing, browsing recently on Steam and I saw this one, it was recommended to me. So, you know, I'm going to have a look at the demo. I don't know how long the demo is, it could be huge, it could be small, you never know. But with Halloween coming up, it's just another bit of horror, horror content for the channel. And um, you never know, of course, at the end of this, if, if I enjoy it, it may well be something that I put on my Steam wish list uh, as a game that I'd be interested in potentially playing the full version of. Without further ado, Let's get ourselves in with new game. Oh, that was quick. Oh gosh, 1980 something. Minato Jinba, a university student, lives away from his parents in a boarding house in the city. One night, Minato receives distressing news from his father, Eiji. Minato's maternal grandmother, Kinu Miyama, is in critical condition. He embarks on a journey to Ichinose, a village deep in the mountains where his mother was born. I apologise if I butcher the pronunciation of the village there. Minato had not seen his grandmother for over a decade and harbours a deep resentment towards her. She had refused to even attend her own daughter's funeral, further intensifying Minato's disdain. As the bus rumbles across the country road, Minato recalls his only conversation with his grandmother. The thing with silkworms, you know, even if they could leave their cocoons, they have no mouths to eat, and their wings do not fly. They simply lay their eggs and perish. People are the reason they suffer this fate. The sky reddens in the twilight, and the mountains cast an ominous shadow. Minato finds himself in this house. There, he finds himself in a terrifying situation, with a shocking truth. Okay, well, that's setting up the uh, premise, I guess. Interesting. Now, um, I have played around with some of the options to sort of lower things like head bob uh, and camera shaking in response to events, just in case uh, any of you out there get motion sickness. I haven't turned them off, but I have lowered them right down. So we'll see um, if that's okay. Well, we're on the bus. Here's our stop, I guess. Ooh. Okay, frame rate flickering a bit, sort of between 60 and 40, which is okay. Yeah, it's when I sort of look up like that. Okay. So yeah, uh, I think all the audio is going to be in Japanese. Well, there goes the bus. Alright, now, I mean, initial impressions, it looks really, really good. Oh, when we can run, of course we can. Ah, <laughs> invisible wall. I was just testing to see if maybe we could go back the other way, but uh, I guess not. Look at that. Sort of traditional old Japanese house. Oh, missing. Oh, we got robot zoomy eyes. Like that, I always do that. All right, so two missing people, a woman and an old man, by the looks of it. Okay, something weird's probably happening at Granny's house, just saying. These little Japanese post boxes. Is that someone else? Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, who's this? Freaking Japanese Elvis Presley. What's going on? Uh, ooh. Looks a bit ominous, doesn't it? Do we want to go into there? All right, let's have a look around, shall we? Anyone in this little town? It looks like there's an icon for that swing. Is this your childhood swing? Do you remember this? Oh! 10 yen. Needed to play the 10 yen game. Okay. Well, I wasn't uh, expecting to pick up a coin. Open inventory. Ah! In the inventory section of the main screen, uh, menu screen, view items in uh, Minato's current HP. Certain items like Simagan? I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that. I don't know. Which replenishes stamina and HP. It can also be used directly from the inventory. So all I have at the moment is uh, six of these 10 yen coins. Front door key to Grandma's house. And an old key Grandma had. No one knows what it's for. There's going to be a creepy door somewhere in the house. Six files. No map. You don't own this map, apparently. Is it worth me 
continuing to explore around and seeing what maybe there is in this environment. Oh god. Slow turns of the camera, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I can imagine how this probably would give people maybe a bit of motion sickness. I haven't actually changed the uh, FOV though, so I hope it's alright for you, folks. I wonder what this is. I wonder if this is like a post... oh, yeah. Maybe like a post office that we're at here? Oh, is this the 10 yen game? <laughs> Let me guess. Is that... yeah, okay, right, it just says... I was going to say, is that the Japanese for out of order? But well, under maintenance, almost the same thing. Oh, can I get a... oh. I just use a... Wait, did I just pick up a coin? Oh, I did. I thought I'd spent a coin then, but apparently not. I picked up and I now have 70 yen. Can I play this? It's a game where you flick a 10 yen coin into the goal. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Okay, insert 10 yen. God, this is like a <laughs> proper old thing, isn't it? Alright, do I have to... Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, it's like going down lever by lever. Oh, do I have to do... Oh, shit. Nope. I wanted to keep interacting there, thank you. Um, can I shake it? Oh god, I can. <laughs> Is this how I die? By uh, flattening myself with a freaking vending machine? <laughs> uh, right, how do I... Um, oh, I have to pull like that. Oh, I see. Ooh. There's holes as well, isn't there? Okay. Nope. Oh, it went into the thing. Balls. Can I put another coin in? Can I waste all my coins on this game? I think I can, can't I? See, I'm getting better at it. Aha, you see, you see. Oh, need a bit more of a... God dang it. Hit. Oh, come on. Oh! That's how they get you, ladies and gentlemen. I've only got five coins. One more. One more coin to it. I wonder if it's like an achievement if you actually beat this thing. <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Hit. Oh, oh, eat that. Oh, this is a tricky one. I need to get it. Ooh. I need to get it over that hole, then over the hole that's immediately after it, but not so far that it goes into the third hole. Avoid the third hole, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, pfft. poop. All right, fine. I don't want that, unless I can just shake it. I guess the shake mechanic is there in case the coin gets stuck, maybe. All right, let's not spend all our money on friggin' that machine. All right. Push forward. Is that Granny's house there, the big one on the corner? God, it does look good though, doesn't it? Oh, can we uh, sit over here? By the picture of Japanese Elvis Presley. That's what I'm calling him. I know he doesn't really look anything like Elvis. But oh! And mind, there's another yen coin over there. Do you know what this means, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Back to the ten yen game. I'm going to waste another coin on this bad boy. Right, hold on. Look at that. At least you can take... Son of a bitch! Son of a... Fuck it. Another coin. Here we go. There we go. Like this. Fuck. Alright. Screw this game. This game sucks. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not going to gamble away all my coins on that motherfucker. Unless I can find more coins to replenish the coins that I've wasted. Admittedly, you know, it's good if you're spending someone else's money, isn't it? Alright, there's more missing posters. Well, there's something here we can look at. God, they've got all these posters of this guy. What does it say? This area, including Ichinose Village, is planned to be a dam construction site. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Just the missing faces. Alright, there's that way, but hang on. Which is the way that we need to go. Is it this way? Okay, right. Yeah. The game's giving me the illusion of there being multiple pathways, but actually there isn't. Hang on, let me just check over here in case there's something I can interact with. Nothing but the crates, no? Okay. I didn't actually check these uh, tyres over here. You know, I sort of see these sorts of things around, and I always think to myself, is it just for parking bikes at? I don't know. Or is there more of a purpose to putting tyres in the ground and then painting them? Must just be a bike thing. How to tell that General Red doesn't actually ever go cycling? <laughs> oh, do I actually need to... Oh, do I do actually need to hold down shift. I can just press it and character will autom... Whoa. Hey, whoa. That was a bit of a lag spike then when I turned the camera and the motion blur I had to keep up. 
Alright. Is this Granny's house? Granny? There's a bottle out, have you? Okay. Gotta go around here. Into someone's little paddock or whatever. Hmm. The character is actually breathing. Is that another coin? Yes, it is. Ten more yen. Maybe if I uh, stack a bit of money up, if ever there is a monster that tries to attack me, maybe we can just bribe it to leave us alone. Alright. Around here, then. Yeah, the game does look real good, though, doesn't it? It just looks amazing. Like, so much clearly has been put into the graphics. Hopefully the other elements of the game sort of come together to make something fairly nice. Another ten yen. Lovely jubbly. God. So whoever abandoned this village, at least they were considerate enough to uh, leave a load of money for me. In the hopes that maybe one day someone would show up. Is this a little, oh, this looks like a cemetery up here. A graveyard, sorry for us British people. Crows, what are you doing? Yeah, get out of here. Shut up. Alright, let's investigate here. I feel like we're definitely going to be coming back to this area at some point. If not in the demo, certainly in the full game, and something bad's going to be here. Oh, hello. Miyama Family Grave. Grandpa Saichi. Okay. Interesting. He doesn't say anything different when I click on things. No, he doesn't. Okay, I was just testing there, because it occurred to me that, you know, if the icon comes up again on something you've already interacted with, it'd not be worth maybe just clicking on it a second time in case he says anything else. I see the Tory Gate off over there, by the way. That's, um, an interesting sight. Alright, um, yeah, this building doesn't have anything. Is we're going up towards this house, over here. Granny, is this your house? Once again, I'm holding down shift, even though I don't actually need to. Let me just let go of that. Oh, hello. Is that a talisman, or is that just a sign? Me armor. Okay, we're here. Oh. <laughs> I think this is where the spookums are going to start happening, ladies and gents. Let me drink down some more tea. Right now, while I have a chance. Ah! Yes, because it would be bad if I was drinking tea when a freaking ghoul jumped out at me. Oh, cutscene. So I don't know... I don't know... Um... Oh, okay, you're saying I can pause. Thank you. Uh, no, I was going to say, I don't really know what kind of horror, though, to expect from this one. If it's going to be, like, supernatural or psychological or whatever. Ah. Letter from the village mayor. Dear Kinumiyama, recently been approached by Town Hall. They've requested that I, as the mayor, intervene and persuade you to comply with the eviction notice issued for the dam construction. I understand how truly heartbreaking it must be to have to leave the land that your ancestors have protected for generations. However, it must be acknowledged that both I and the villagers have very reluctantly accepted this project out of necessity. Considering the prosperity of the Miyama family silkworm business, I'm confident that your silkworms will continue to prosper in any new location. Perhaps it's time for you to contemplate a fresh start as well? Between us, rumour has it that whenever substantial amounts of money are involved, ill intentions come with it. It would be wise for you to make your decision quickly. Sincerely, the Mayor. So There's a lot about silkworms so far. Ah, okay, so we found document number one of six. So, I wonder how long this demo is. We'll sort of try and play through all of it if we can in this one sitting. And if there's, um... Ah, that doesn't open. Must be locked from the other side. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, um, we'll try and play through all of it in one sitting, or at least as much as we can. And if it needs to be more than one episode, then, then that's fine. We'll do that. That's absolutely okay. Ooh. Hello. Oh, there's definitely stuff in here to look at. So it's a very traditional looking house, this. Sorry, I'm just investigating along the side in case there's anything else to examine. No, okay. Back over here then. This way. Right. Yeah, I should have just remembered I have the key, don't I? Use key item. When examining specific objects, your inventory will be shown. By selecting the key item from the list, certain actions can be formed, such as unlocking a door. Key item will be consumed. Okay. Use. There you go. 
Oh, they even got an animation for it. Nice. This is like the porch. Oh yeah, they got like the uh, indoor slippers or whatever <sighs> over here. So why have we been brought up here? That is the question. Um, look at the little uh, dolls. Okay, I guess we're guess we're just going to go inside. Oh wait, wait. No need to switch it on. Okay, okay, right. Uh, for a second there, I thought it was just a pole, but no, it's just the switch is black. But for a second, I was going to say, you know, there's no, it doesn't look like there's any switch at all there. Um, ooh. Oh, that goes through the house. Hang on. Ooh. <laughs> We've seen rooms like this before in Chiller's Art games, and they're never good. Oh, Granny just left us a 10 yen coin, apparently. See, you may not have liked her that much, but uh, she was like, Oh, me dearie, I'll leave him a 10 yen. Oh, is this a bathroom, maybe? Oh, no little side room. Okay. Oh, cheers. I guess I'll shut that. What's going on through here? Oh, this is where he kept the silkworms. Dawson,から聞いた話では、宮間家は成り合いにしていた産修業を随分前に辞めてしまったらしい。その名残か、キヌさんはここで解雇を買っていて、子供の俺に解雇の話をした。キヌさんと話したのはあれきりで。うん。
What are you going there? There's a freaking yen coin. Oh, we can just go in the chicken coop, can we? Oh, I can crouch though to get in here. What are the chickens doing with a yen coin? Chickens don't need a yen coin. Good lord. I'll just take the chicken's money, because why the hell not? God, it really does remind me of like a chill as art environment, this. Except uh, without the sort of VHS grainy aesthetic. There's the thing, was it the... Um, which game was it where there was a house like this? It was the caregiver, wasn't it? The one with the old man in the house who lived alone. And there was like a demonic entity beneath the house or something. Yeah, that was the one. You remember that one, ladies and gents? It was a creepy one. Oh, look, you got like your little lounge with your, um... Uh, um... What is the term for that kind of table where it has the cloth around the edge that you can, like, spread over and it has, like, a heater underneath so it keeps your legs warm? Right, you're giving me an exclamation mark, which makes me think this is where I need to be. So, hang on. Does that mean there's other stuff? Yes. No. I beg your pardon? I'll just take your coin first, but what? Is that? Is that ta- Yeah. I was about to say, is that a talisman? The house is cursed. Burn it down. Salt the earth. Ooh. The red talisman on the wall is a save point. Okay. Alright. Interesting. So I can save there. That's that complete. Alright, so it's um it's a bit like games we played before where you have to reach specific areas in order to save. Reminds me of Alien Isolation with the registration points. Hang on. Like a sink over here. Okay. Through here is this the Oh, is this wash and bathroom? What's that sound? Is that a clock or something? What am I hearing? Oh. What? Something in the drain. Can we... Flush it out? Okay. Um, hmm. We still got this old key. We've got about 14 yen coins now. Curious. Alright, this is probably somewhere we have to come back to. It just says there's something in the drain, but... We can't get to it or anything, so probably can't do out about it. All right, let's just wander through the house for now and just check all other locations. Is this the bedroom? Oh, God. okay, no, it's just a dresser. I thought it was like a weird little shrine or something. Oh, this thing maybe? Uh, no, that doesn't do anything. Okay, I thought it said obviously that. Um, we would automatically be able to do stuff. Haha! Seichi's response to Minato as a child. Dear Minato, thank you for the letter. I was so surprised to see you wrote it all by yourself. You did a great job. Grandpa appreciates it. So your mum won't buy you a book collection, kid, eh? You know, when I was young, I used to collect butterflies too. But someone once told me to to not hurt them. I don't know why there's, um, to, why there's that extraneous two there. That's when I decided to stop catching butterflies. Instead, I decided to just watch them as they live, and allow them to stay a part of the beauty of nature. I can't buy you a bug collection kit, but how about this? When summer comes, I'll take you to a place where there are plenty of butterflies and dragonflies. Grandma is busy with housework, so she can't come along. Well, let's have lots of fun together, just you and Grandpa. Whenever we have to say goodbye, it always makes me feel a little sad. But before you go... I'll give you a good pat on the head and whisper a little magic spell to keep you happy until the next time we meet. I'll miss you, but I have to help Grandma with some things. So please be good and do as you're told. I promise I'll come to see you in the summer. Grandpa. But then he fell down the well. Oh. Yes, of course, the letter is here. Meaning, Minato never received it then. Yeah. Had his accident, I'm guessing. Okay. Here's the ghost of Grandpa. Oh. oh, that's a fucking hiding spot. Oh, shit. So it's going to be one of them games. It's going to be one of those kind of games where basically something is going to pursue us and we have to find hiding spots. 
good to know. That's not a good sign. And no doubt it's going to get dark in this place as well. There is the bathroom. Oh god, they've got like a traditional uh, Japanese toilet. Uh, there's nothing in here. Not by the looks of it, no. Okay, what about through here? Where does this take us out? There's like a long spooky corridor. What's going on? Oh. This has a dial lock. Hmm. So I'm guessing uh, that doesn't do anything. Well, if it's a dial lock, that means it needs a code by the looks of it. We don't have a code, so who knows. Alright, I think we just have to go back to the lounge then. Because I think that's all we can do. In here then? Can we turn on the TV? Oh. That thing looks ancient, that does. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> the uh, amazing newsreader who doesn't move her lips. The ventriloquist newsreader, ladies and gents. Right, I'm just wondering if there's anything else I've missed, but... Uh, let's just sit down, I guess. Should I rest until night? Oh, great! Sure, why the hell not? Something's going to pop out. There's going to be bad stuff in this house. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright. Oh god. Uh. Missing people, silkworms, Tory gate. Pictures. Spooky door and the talisman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh oh. What? Ugh. Something about that just sent a chill up my spine. I don't know why. I guess because it's quite... Oh, God. Are you going to get flattened by a train? Are you going to step out in front of it? Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, she is. That was a nightmare. She's in the house, isn't she? The ghost of Mama. <laughs> Wait, that was the door. Shit, the light switch is over here. Oh, thank God that works. <laughs> I was thinking, oh God, uh, what do I want to do here, though? I'm just going to leave the TV on. It's a nice, familiar, comforting noise. Okay, frame rate has dropped a bit. I probably do have the graphics set very, very high. Oh. Do we want to just turn all the lights on? Please. I prefer it when it's uh, nice and light in this place. I don't know why I'm going in there. <laughs> nice to know that it's right next door to the lounge. Well, the chickens are still out. Do you not try and put them back in the coop? Oh, God. I don't know how gloomy it is in here. It's a little bit unsettling, just saying. Well, that's the spook corridor. Is it worth me turning all these lights on? I don't know. Feels like they're going to turn off anyway, but I'm just going to fucking turn them on. Because I can. Oh, I can change the channel. <laughs> Spooky UFOs. Do we want to watch this? Get us in the horror mood? Oh, is it going to repeat? That's just static. Hey, hello. <laughs> Iguana man. 
Oh, car advert? Or oh, is it Komodo? Not an iguana. You can drive a car. Big and strong. Like Komodo Dragon. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, I accidentally pressed the uh, button again. Crouch button. I don't know, I'm getting gas from my tea coming up my throat. God, they've put a lot of effort, though, into this demo, haven't they? The devs, that is. <laughs> it's just a tiny little guy at the end. Little gecko or whatever it is. Chameleon? Not entirely sure. Oh, it's just going to repeat. Static. 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 Off. Well, let's, uh... No, let's have the nice show in the background. Why the heck not? I think that you can sort of access this from two angles. I guess it would be good to perhaps uh, use as a way of giving the uh, loop... Uh. Oh, hello. Yeah, I heard that. Did I go through that before? I clearly did not, did I? Shoot. Hold on. Let me just check what's through here first. Oh god, is this... Bedroom? I'm just turning everything on. Oh, there's a room through there as well. Oh, is that another... Okay, I thought that was going to be another hiding place, but... I guess not. Well, I see you've got an actual proper altar and shrine in here, which is not a good sign. Oh god. This house is quite big, isn't it? Considerably big. This must be a whole area I didn't explore before. Shit. I hope there wasn't too much that I missed in failing to come in here before. Where's the switch? There it is. We'll get to the entrance in a second. Oh, that's a hiding place. Okay. Is that a coin? Yes, it is. Ten more yen, thank you. What's in here? Aha. A letter from Minato as a child to my awesome Grandpa Saichi. Hi there. How are you? I hope you're super good. I'm a big boy in elementary school now. I go to school every day to learn cool stuff like reading and math. It is fun, but sometimes hard too. I have a really big favour to ask you, Grandpa. Could you please buy me a bug collection kit? Mom won't buy me one. She says bugs are not toys and we should not catch them or hurt them. All my friends have one and I'm left out. Oh, and Grandpa, when are you coming to my house again? I've never met Grandma and I really, really wanted to come with you. It'd be so much fun. You know, I feel a little bit sad when you have to leave. I ask Mom every day when you'll come back. She says you live far away, so we can't see each other a lot, but I really can't wait to see you again. Please write back soon. Minato. Like I was three L's on Will there. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's uh, see what the deal is uh, in here then. Oh. See, there's plenty of documents for me to find. Activate that bad boy. What's that there? Say Megan, Grandma's painkillers? Oh, used to restore HP and stamina. Okay. Use healing item with Q. Okay, that means a monster can hurt us, but we can evade it without being killed. Order some Say Megan. Okay. So, yeah, I've literally found um, five of the documents so far. Just one, uh, number two is missing. Is this over here? Me, I'm a family crest. See, it's like a silkworm, isn't it? <laughs> of course. Anything here? No? Just more stuff. What's through here, then? This takes us back out into the corridor, doesn't it? Hey, you see, all these open shoji doors might be a problem if there is a monster, because it's going to make it hard for me to move about unseen, isn't it? But then again, I'll be able to see it. Screws have gone rusty, the door won't open. Probably will need something to bust that open. I don't think it's your dad, buddy. I think it's a monster, and I think you're fucking screwed. Just saying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is that? Ooh, that's a chicken head. Yikes. Just go. Leave. Get the hell out of there. <laughs> I don't know about that. Hang on, we saw a telephone before. Here it is. Who's there? God, it's an old rotary phone, that is. I mean, it is the 80s. 
Yeah, oh, great. He's going to say that he can't call him, isn't he? Oh shit, I cut him off. Told you. どうにもやっかいなことになってきた。先ほどまで警察と話をしていたんだよ。警察なんで警察なんかと。キヌさんが倒れた原因が病気や事故ではないかもしれないということだ。She's <laughs> Not to err on the side of caution. Minato. Yeah. That's not good. I think it's gonna be like a creepy ghost lady or something. Proper sort of like grudge girl. From the kitchen, uh, which was back this way, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a funny layout, this house. Probably designed deliberately like that to uh, mess you up. Okay, here's the kitchen. I think we're gonna need to turn the light on in here, aren't we? Like so. There we go. That was just that drawer before. Put it back in. Uh, is dead chicken still in there? Yes, it is. You're not going to comment on that, maybe? Alright. Drink up. Something's going to happen here, though. Do you think we're going to look up through the window and there's going to be a demon face there? As he raises the cup to his lips. <laughs> oh! I told you we'd look up and see something. I've played enough horror games. That was a figure, couldn't you tell? Once again, stop leaving the tap running when you don't actually need to be running water. That's so wasteful. The hell. I guess we're going to investigate out the freaking conveniently placed door over here. Okay, we need to wrap with on. Well, the lights are on anyway. That's fine. Yeah, there are a few frame rate hits in certain areas, but it's still above 30 at the moment. Oh, God. So that's the window it just passed beyond. Oh hell. Oh hell. Oh hell. Oh, he's taking control away from me. Oh, hello! You're just straight up there, are you? It's a grudge girl. Ugh. Someone really likes chicken. You could fry that or something, you know, and it would probably taste a lot better. You ever been to KFC? Hey, KFC's big in Japan. Can you vouch for that? Uh oh. You're looking a bit thin, aren't you? Oh. That's the demo, ladies and gentlemen. Interesting. So we're not actually going to have to do any hiding or anything here, but... Well, there you go. So in the full version, yeah, you're probably going to have to stealth it and figure out how to, you know, figure out what's going on with the house, what the story is. So, freaking Grandmama clearly has been attacked and probably by this monster. So I imagine the full game will be about, like I say, peeling back the mysteries of the house, finding out what happened, who is this strange ghoul, or what is it? Who knows? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen. That definitely had a lot of uh, interesting elements to it. The graphics were very stunning, um, you know, and I just, I think uh, it looks very interesting. So I may indeed add this to my wish list. Like I say, I think it's coming out 6th of December, so um, yeah. If you're interested, go and wishlist it as well on Steam, ladies and gentlemen. On that, face one to the links down below, along with a link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed, a like is, of course, always appreciated. But other than that, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. Or should I say, since we're in Japan, sayonara. Table car activated, I guess. Oh, God. Well, I can't miss that. See, catching cable cars is hard. But that's no problem. I'm going to get into it, please. There we go. Go for a cable car ride, ladies and gentlemen. To solve some of my doubts, this is my character. Well, that's a fast cable car, that was. Get out, there we go. Where the fuck am I? Through here? Wait. Have we been through there? We've been through there. Right. Exactly. Was a bit before. Oh.
Oh, when I say, oh, no four steps, we've got the key card, I see. It all loops around, doesn't it? I do like the view, though. I like the cable cars, I'm just going up and down. You see, I do sometimes like these kind of top-down games where they have interesting graphics and just, like, interesting scenes that you can look at.